to take right. this. So we're at, at Brandon Boudet's house and we're gonna uh, we're gonna make some spam carbonara. Exciting. You are not sold on this, are you? <laughs> this could be delicious. Yes. So you've never had spam before? I've never had spam. And what are you expecting before you even smell it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> it smells like Vienna sausages. That's the only thing I've ever really had. So. I've never had those. Those are similar color. Yeah, similar color, similar smell. Just a different shape. Yeah. Man. Now, does it remind you of like a, like a pate kind of thing? or Like deviled ham or like potted meat. I guess. Well, this is the first challenge, huh? <laughs> <laughs> came up perfectly. Well, I'll see if it can. And you, when you make a carbonara, usually you use uh, prosciutto or bacon, or what do you do? Uh, pancetta. Use pancetta. Yeah. This is enough for about three people. Are you feeling okay about it so far? Yeah, I, I can. I can deal with this. <laughs> Wait, so you're using super <laughs> high-end pasta. <laughs> we got high-end uh, dried pasta. Right. We got really good Reggiano Parmesan cheese. Right. We got really good uh, Pecorino Romano. And we got some brown organic eggs. Now, are you thinking that the good products will mask any problems in the spam, or are they just going to make it more obvious? I, I, I really think... It, it might be okay. I'm start, you're starting to win me over on spam. Yeah, right? This might appear on the Dominic's menu. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> if, it, if it's a hit, you don't even have to tell people. Imagine the savings. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> so you got it really hot. Yeah. Just a little olive oil? Yep, a little olive oil. I'm going to get a nice little caramelization going. Yeah, it's, it's, it's probably pretty similar. We're gonna make enough for about four people, so it's uh, two whole eggs and two yolks. It's actually pretty good. Is it really? Yeah, try try a little piece. Like one of the, like that one? Yeah. Oh, that's not so bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's weird? It's like crispy on the outside and it's and it nothing on the inside. In mouth, yeah. <laughs> or I gave up my. So we have two kinds of cheese. We got uh, some Reggiano Parmesan cheese and some Pecorino Romano. The cow's milk and the sheep's milk. But not like queso. How much each are you going to use? You about have no a, idea. Just about, a, uh, about a quarter, half a cup of each. And you want some of that pasta water in there, it's fine. So you add the pasta to the uh, bacon. Yeah. Not, I would, I would think you would go with the eggs first. No, we're gonna, because all this stuff is nice and hot. This stuff she can like. This is the best part. That looks so good. So you want some pasta water in there? Yeah. I'm learning a lot. Okay. Not about filming though. There we go. Okay. The flipping is good. That looks very professional. I'll do that with more times. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you see it starting, it's all cooked now. You can see it turning color. Got a cooked egg color to it? Yeah. And this will thicken it up too, right? Yeah. Oh no, that, that amount of cheese will still kill you. Oh, the cheese will eat yes. it Cheese illusion. Oh. <laughs> there we go. So how long did this take you? Like, As long as it took the pasta to cook, pretty much. Right. I think you can, this is like a 12 minute dish. But they do, they turn into like little they crispy do. little... They turn into like... Air balls, things. right? Yeah, little yeah. like crispy uh, air balls. It's like... It's actually, it wouldn't be a bad, like, garnish or something if you could come up with another name for it. <laughs> it you, you were expecting a zero and you got, like, a, a one or a two? Uh, I'd say, like, a four or five. You did? Yeah. So it greatly exceeded expectations. Yeah, no, it, it definitely... Because it does definitely fry up, like, a little thick piece of bacon. And I ate basically my entire bowl of pasta. There you go. And here's my happy face. No, it's really good.